Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown hey, attackers in real world get scenarios and fight their way down. out. Do it now! Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight get out of here. real life. Get down on the ground now! This is First Person Defender. My name's Doug. I'm a civil structural engineer here in Baton Rouge. I've been in America for 15 years now. Uh, my wife was born and bred here. I prefer to open carry. I've been carrying for three years now. I carry whenever I legally can. I've done some competition shooting. Doug is a, is a proponent of open carry. And, you know, there, there's reasons for it. It's, it, it. it's got its practical applications and it doesn't. From a self-defense perspective, I've always been a bigger proponent of keeping it concealed. I've been involved with guns for many years. Growing up in New Zealand, we had a, a rifle on the farm. And then when I moved to America, just got involved in shooting and been enjoying it ever since. Doug's background is, is, is very rudimentary. You know, you're coming from a country where the ownership is really, really oriented around small game hunting. We're gonna have a challenging event set up for Doug today. We're gonna see how Doug handles himself. All right, Doug, so we're in a, uh, an area of, that we're gonna consider you know, like, like a workplace area, like a conference room. And in fact, what you're gonna be part of is a meeting at your workplace. What I want you to do is watch what happens, kind of okay. evaluate what's going on, and uh, make a decision, and, and if need be, take some kind of appropriate action on it. All of us that are in these solid color shirts, like the one you're in with the long sleeves, we're participants. The rest of the folks that you see here in the neon colored shirts, these are the camera crew or their staff. These are people that are not here, they're out of place. So as they move around or, or get in the middle of things, don't pay any attention to them, they're not part of the exercise. Why wants to sit through this stupid meeting? Look, just shut the, the hell up. Shut the hell up and let us do go. We gotta finish this thing. You go, man. I know it makes sense to protect myself. And the confidence the laser gives me makes even more sense. With your handgun and the training to back it up, a laser sight is the most common sense path to protection in a time of crisis. Slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The m and Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. First Person Defender, brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Smith & Wesson, and Remington. All right, this is your weekly compliance meeting. I know that you're tired of these things. I'm tired of them too, but look, the guys up top, they make us do this stuff. All right. I hope it's more entertaining than the last one. I don't know why they make us do this stuff, but I think it's because some of you guys are screwing up, okay? Why would you look at me when you say that? I'm not talking to anybody in particular, but there are people who are making us all sit through these meetings, all right? Look, just suck it up, we gotta do this stuff. That's just what you have to do. You got a complaint, take it to somebody else. I don't, I don't make the rules, lady. Good Lord. Yeah, you're, you've been a complete jerk. You know, you, you continue to look at Sandy, you continue to look at me like we've done something wrong, but. You know, if you're feeling guilty about something, that's not my problem, dude. Look, I've been in compliance. I show up to work, I follow the rules, and yet you continue to, to use me as an example every time you get upset, every time somebody yells at you from the top. You know, some people would kind of look at that and think there's maybe a little bit of an attitude going on here. You might want to look in a mirror and find out what's going on. What are you going to do about it? You're going to fire me? I'm, no, I'm just going to sit there and do this stupid meeting. You're making us all go through this stupid meeting. Are you guys happy about having to sit through this stuff? Nobody likes this. Nobody wants to sit through this stupid meeting. Look, just shut the hell up. Shut the hell up and let us do this. We got to finish this thing. You go, man. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh, go, man. Go! The adrenaline's now starting to really kick in. I could see a fight developing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure whether it was gonna go 
just hand to hand, fisticuffs as it were, good old school. Shut go! Up. Shut the hell Get up! Get out of here! No, you go! I just banged the desk to try to kind of attract the attention of both. You go, guys. Split second later, it all went sideways. You, you came out of your chair. Do you have any thoughts of, of cover, thoughts of concealment? Probably should not have stood up completely, mm. either gone behind the chairs and, and stayed in a crouch. Mm. As a person in a defensive situation, I think I was just plain lucky that he did not see me and turn to me. All right, so we're out here on the range. In the exercise we did, you're, you're working in a really small workspace. So I want you to, to, to work in a, in a drill that kind of incorporates that close quarters, but it kind of gets you into moving behind cover and then moving away from cover uh, and kind of, kind of bring it all into one realm. We're at close quarters we're up against this target. You're like at about three yard line away from this target and you're going to be working in and around this chair. Okay. The chair can simulate all kinds of things. You can see the position, uh, stair steps, uh, countertop, having to get behind it, kneel it, all this different stuff. And working drills that, that force you into these different positions can help ingrain you seeking those positions out when a situation occurs. From a seated position, standing position, right foot on the chair, left foot on the chair, behind the chair. Back to a seated position. How do you like the drill? I like the drill. Bring a bunch of things into one, one drill, incorporate a bunch of things in, get you seeking mo movement and bringing you into some cover and concealment. Yeah, gives you a lot to think about. Absolutely, there's a lot to think about. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go make it happen. When we get the first alert that there's a hurricane or even a tropical storm in the Crossbreed holsters feature a Kydex pocket molded around your exact gun for perfect retention, a leather backing for comfort, and specially designed clips that allow you to tuck in your shirt for complete concealment and smooth draw. Crossbreed. Conceal and carry the cross. Deep penetration and massive expansion for ultimate stopping power when the stakes are at their highest. That's what you get with Remington Ultimate Defense. I've been known to throw some nasty fastballs. But off the field, it's all about the curve. First Person Defender, brought to you by Ruger, Crimson Trace, and Simunition. We've been hearing about our hurricane preparation. We gotta have everything in line so that we can move things when we get the hurricane alert. So we wanna make sure that all your departments are as they should be. So we don't want, basically we gotta be able to move fast is what it amounts to. So when we get the first alert that there's a hurricane or even a tropical storm in the Caribbean or in the Gulf, that's when you start putting them in action. You gotta call all your people, you gotta get it together, have them start working on moving everything, okay? Fire me! Fire me! Anybody call 911? All right, index, index, index. Fast and furious, man, what happened? I just saw the door open. First thing I saw was the gun, and then after that it was like just react to it, try find some cover, just fire back. What was the meeting all about? Uh, hurricane preparedness. Did you hear anything about what the bad guy said when he came in? Nope. I just saw the gun, thought this is a threat. I think I crouched down behind the desk, got I think four shots off. Okay, now as that thing started to, 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 to de-escalate itself after that happened, what happened next? I know after I shot and saw him down, uh -huh. I stood up. 
Okay, so now you, you yeah. recognize that you felt I you broke the it. cover, and that's when I got back down again. So you thought about it after I you did? I thought about it afterwards, okay. but afterwards can be too late. Doug did real well. Doug took cover, dealt with the, the, the bad guy, but did run into an issue where he, he kind of he hit the apex, and then after it happened, wasn't quite sure what to do after that point forward. At the range, you, know, you just practice shooting at a cardboard target. It doesn't shoot back. In the real world, with this exercise, that, that's totally different. 